I'm just going to say it, Missy. Here's the deal. John's been voted off the island. I didn't appreciate your alliance last season of recaps with him, and I have removed him from the show. As a matter of fact, John is no longer part of your reality recaps, everyone. He's been fired. Hey everybody, Eric Curto here from YourRealityRecaps.com with an all-new Survivor Blood vs. Water weekly group recap show that we broadcast live every Thursday on our YouTube channel and in our Z-Box room. And during these shows, myself, John, and Missy Z get in-depth on everything from this past week's Survivor, all while taking your questions live and interacting with all of you. Now, this is the edited version with all the bells and whistles, but you guys should totally join us for the live version sometimes, too. So, before we get started, remember, if you guys are watching in YouTube or on a YouTube player, you can click on the buttons all around this video to jump to, you know, different parts of the show. Also, if you're watching in YouTube, check out the description below because there's also chapter markers and they allow you to skip to a specific topic you want to hear us talk about or skip over ones like this intro, but why would you guys want to do that? And of course, all of our other links and show notes are down there as well. You should also know by now that you can take the audio only or video versions of our show with you to go on your favorite tablet or mobile device. Our iTunes and RSS feed links are, guess where, down there below too. So do us a favor, if you're watching on YouTube, thumbs up, subscribe so that you guys never miss any of our shows, share them with all your friends on your favorite social media network, and if you're on iTunes, give us a five star rating and a nice review really helps support the show, and you know what? It keeps us doing them for free for you guys all season long. So, make sure that you guys stick around to the end of the episode for all of our other special announcements, prize giveaways, and you know, other rigmarole. But, since we have so much to get to this week, let's just jump right into it, and you know the deal, you can follow me over at Twitter and at Reality Recaps. We are live! <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to our First Survivor Caron, I don't know how to say it, um, recap of the season. Uh, you guys know the deal. You can follow me over on Twitter. I'm at Reality Recaps. And who's here with me? Hi, guys. Super fan Missy Z here. You can follow me on Twitter at MI55Y. And is it funny that I can't pronounce it either? Is it Kagon? I don't know. Let's talk Survivor, though. Oh, hey, everybody. I'm Melissa. I write blogs for yourrealityrecaps.com. Uh, I'll be blogging about Survivor all season. So uh, if you want to keep up to date, just follow me on Twitter at the Dolphin Poet. I'm just going to say it, Missy. Here's the deal. John's been voted off the island. I didn't appreciate your alliance last season of recaps with him, and I have removed him from the show. As a matter of fact, John is no longer part of your reality recaps, everyone. He's been fired. I am on this boat all alone on this island by myself? John, no, and I will get this alliance back together. Don't you worry, John, I'm coming for you. You will be back here next week. All right, well, I guess you'll all just have to tune in and see. Or maybe you all have to check out our Kickstarter if you want John <laughs> back, because that is the most exciting news that I just have to, again, let you guys know. Check out yourrealityrecaps.com slash kick, because myself... Missy, John, we all want to go to the Reality Rally, stream all of the events live for you, hundreds of reality stars, so, you know, check out that link, and if you can help support our shows, do it by making the donation. There's a ton of great uh, stuff that you get there as well. You can check out all the prizes. Also, make sure to thumb up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. It really helps support our shows, but we I need... I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Very much. I do. do. It. Okay. 
Because we all want to see, look, people, here, I'm just going to, I know we get a lot of Big Brother people around here because Missy is Big Brother super fan. So, look, Big Brother super fan people, let me just let you know something. You're fans of our shows. You know how I feel about the one Nick Uhas? I'm not going to be able to interview him. Missy will. I, oh, I am ready to interview him. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what I want to ask him. And I won't let him walk away from me without giving me an answer. Mm -hmm. And if he does, I'll call him right out on it. Just saying. Well, you might have to pull him off someone's... Anyway, <laughs> so, darn, I thought I was going to make it through just one episode without doing that. So, okay, you guys, <laughs> check out all that Kickstarter stuff. And, of course, if you have any online shopping to do, use the link over on the homepage of yourrealityrecaps.com uh, for Amazon. Click it, and, you know, we get a little bit back. You guys don't pay any more, and it really, of course, helps support our shows. And, hey... Spoiler, people, get ready next week. There might be a whole new website mobile experience coming your way, but I'm saving that for next week because we need to talk about Brands Beauty Braun Survivor. Oh, my goodness. Thank God you are here, Melissa. <laughs> we needed our blogger who is covering everything all season long to fill us in on things. My head is still spinning between that and the freaking Opposite Worlds finale, which I should also say that show is tomorrow night. JR and Frank will be on the show the whole entire show, 545 uh, p.m. Eastern for our Opposite Worlds finale recap. But Brains Brawn Beauty. I want to start off with this. Which tribe do you think you would be on, Melissa? Which tribe do you think you would be on, Missy? And you guys watching, comment below on YouTube. What tribe would you guys be on? So, Missy, I'm going to throw it to you first. Oh, hello. How, what? Do you really? Of course. Beauty Brains and Bronze. I'd be on all three. I got it. I'm a whole package. Okay, Melissa. Uh, well, probably Brains, but I don't want to be on that tribe. <laughs> it sucks. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? I cannot believe. Fail. Fail. Yeah, Fail failed. times ten. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Most disappointing start to a Survivor season ever. And I knew it. Mm-hmm. I knew it. Oh, I knew it. So, the... the but what isn't is it disappointing? I, I, I find it funny that they keep zoning in on them, though. It's not disappointing. It shows that just be. I think people who are smart like that are book smart. That's the brains that they have, but they have no common sense. And that showed up in everything that they did yesterday. So. Well, yeah, I mean, that that is, yeah, I would agree with that. I would also say they kept focusing in on um, Garrett's uh, blurry package, too, for some reason. But then maybe that's just the John Richardson. That, that's all I can focus on it. So Brains was Luzon. That was their uh, tribe name. So you're okay. going with Brains, Melissa. Uh, Missy, you're going with all three. Uh -huh. I want to go with Brains so that I can be close to my um, crush, get ready all season, everybody, Spencer. Um, <laughs> but I guess I will pick um, Beauty to not pick the same as anybody else. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 mm -hmm. no. I am, no, I am. No. I'm not going to pick all three. I'm picking beauty. I can be beauty, Missy. Put, put your chapstick on, Eric. Put your chapstick okay, on. Hold on. I'm beauty. Mm. Speaking of beauty and, and, and because where you picked, and I had a little bit of a, of a crush yesterday. A little bit for like half the episode I had a crush. And then my crush just went away. We'll get who's, to that later. Who's... Oh, okay, you want to get to it later? All right, so then yeah. let's, let's start here. So... Jeff kind of threw out like a ton of twists in the beginning of this game, and I personally don't think it's really fair. So we saw all the tribes gather, and then Jeff says, all right, you guys need to elect a leader right now. Now, did you guys just think that right off the bat was fair? Because it does turn a tribe against you, or was that brilliant production work, let's cause drama right from the start? What'd you Melissa, think? go ahead. Oh, okay, well, Melissa. I, I feel like I like the twist, but on the other hand, it's like really us diehards. We don't need all that flashy stuff. And Survivor's really gotten away from like what it started as. It's like we don't even see the people like 
struggling to build fires as much. We don't see them struggling to find food and eat. And for me, like, I kind of miss that aspect. So I think with all these twists, what they're doing is they're just trying to wrangle in the people that love that stuff. Because, you know, the people that don't mm-hmm. haven't watched since the beginning of the, you know, the whole series like me. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's really kind of how I feel. And it's totally unfair to, like, make make them call somebody a leader. Like, that's nothing. You do not want to be the leader on the tribe on the first day in Survivor ever. You and don't want what, that attention. Yeah, I, I would agree with you on that, Melissa. But um, I would also disagree. The show needs to start somewhere. So why not oh, start there? <laughs> You know? Well, yeah, like I said, like, you know, that way go both ways. together, you know, those who like it, those who don't like it, it makes controversy and it makes conversation. That's what I like about it. But it was a whirlwind. Yeah. I, I agree. I do like, you know, a twist in the beginning. So I, I did think it was interesting. I was kind of fine with saying the pick the leader, which for the brains, it was David. For the brawn, it was Sarah. And for the beauty, it was LJ. Mm-hmm. Um, but then it was kind of like, okay, now you picked them. Now we want the leaders to pick uh, the the person they think's the weakest. And here's the thing. God bless David, little old David. Good, good move on him to throw Garrett over there. Like, I thought that was a brilliant move by him. But did all these three people really think Survivor was going to start by them removing three people from the game? <laughs> that, really? I think it should have... It was obvious to me those three people were going to get an advantage. Did you guys think they were going to get an advantage? Oh, if definitely. Any, yeah, if any of them ever watched Survivor, and I'm sure most of them have because they're fans of the show, I don't think they've picked up anybody who wasn't a fan of the show, but they all know, you know, it, mm-hmm. no, they know. But again, I think the words that were used by Jeff, pick the weakest. Mm-hmm. You don't know who the weakest is. In other words, he should have said, pick who you feel threatened by in any such way, shape or form, you know, instead of the weakest, because they don't know their strengths. So. Well, I think when they're playing to the characteristics of brains, Absolutely. beauty, and brawn, then that's kind of where they have to go. What did you think of it, Melissa? I, you know, I like, I do like the twist too. So it wasn't. Mm-hmm. It did throw in that extra aspect of social gameplay, which you know that's why I really love this stuff is to see how people interact with each other when thrown in these crazy circumstances, and then oh, by the way, here's this for you too. Um, mm-hmm. So, I mean, I like it, but, you know, a lot of people thought it was a little much. I, I kind of see both, things, both ways. I, go ahead, Missy. I, I think it's really hard for us as fans when any reality show starts, but especially Survivor with 18 people, three different tribes, three different, you know, Bronze Brains Beauty, all have a different name, and I can't even pronounce the name of the season or where they're at or whatever the heck it is. I'm not even going there today. But oh, God. I, it, too much. They don't, they don't even call them by the tribe names on the bottom no. of the screen. They call right. them Braids, Beauty, Brawn. Like, why do they even make them up? Like, like why make us pronounce it. those? It was, it, it, the beginning of Survivor was definitely fast-paced. I mean, mm-hmm. there was just too much. And as the, that's why I like when an episode, when we get further into the season, because we start losing people, and then I feel as though we get to see a deeper side of people when that starts happening. So, Right. I, and I mean, th- that's what we're here for. That's why you guys are watching here. We have their names for you. So, like I said, Eric, brains, I- brains is Lazan, Brawn is Apari, and Beauty is Solana, or that's what I'm going with. And I'm also going to say, because Jeff said it four different ways last night, too, I'm going to go with Kagan. And that's what I'm going I- with. And I'm, I'm show- right. On this show, everybody, I don't know if you can see it. I have it as Kagan. K-A-G-E-O-N. Kagan. Well, <laughs> not not surprisingly, I have it the correct way, which is easy for me to remember, because it's C-A-Gay-On. <laughs> C-A-Gay-On. Oh, Got it. Got it, Eric. Kagan. Got it. Kagan. <laughs> and speaking of gays, no, you know what? We'll wait a moment. 
let's go to this, you know, uh, next point. So, like we said, the leaders, David, Sarah, and LJ, they all had to pick who they thought were the weakest, and they were sent um, to their tribes. When they get mm -hmm. to the beach, they find out, you have a choice. Do you want extra rice for your tribe, or a clue to the hidden immunity idol? Now, again, are we going to have this argument every season? So you play selfish. You don't play for a team. Nobody who has ever won this game has ever won it, and Melissa can correct me if I'm wrong, because they did something really nice for the other people. You don't win. It actually puts a target on your back. So, go ahead, Melissa. So, I'm going to see your girl with, with me. That's, ex that's exactly what it does. It, I mean, every season we see this. Oh, no, you take, go spend time with your family. Why don't you guys eat the meal? I don't need anything. I just want your vote in the end. But that never works. It never works. Nope. It never works. Nope. Never. I would have went with Trish and I would got to try rice. I wouldn't have looked for the idol. And that's why you ain't making it to the end of Survivor, Miss A. <laughs> yes, I would, and I'd get the votes at the end because I thought of everybody else. There's going to be a vote, a, a jury, that is going to appreciate my kindness. I'm just saying, eventually it will happen. Oh. Watch her win it all because she gave them rice. Uh, I will eat. Here, we're going to hold on to my notes from this episode. I You're will eat them? eat them the last episode <laughs> if she wins this game. Uh, okay. Trish, okay? okay? I will Trish. eat my notes. Uh, so Trish, no. was, Trish was sent for the brawn, or for the, yeah, for the bronze. Uh -huh. Morgan was sent for the beauties, and Garrett was sent for the brains. So Garrett and Morgan both looked for the idol, and Garrett found his, but Morgan didn't find hers. Am I correct? Because I didn't see where she had found it, because the tribe, the other members came. Correct? G yeah, yes, yeah. they caught her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They caught her looking for it, mm -hmm. and she and tried to play it off, but that didn't work. No, not for everybody. Oh wow! I thought wow! I totally disagree. I think she was brilliant, and I mean, granted, we don't know the editing if it was really a split second as it seemed, but I thought it was brilliant how she just. Baywatch style was running up on the beach and was like, oh my god, did you guys see what I won for you? The rice? And they thought it was brilliant. I was impressed that she was able to think about it. I, I, to, to go with that strategy is a brilliant move. To lie and say, I got you guys all this stuff. I didn't get you. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't take something for myself. But I wonder, is Jeff then allowed to say something contradictory to that in Tribal. I mean, I know he can't help the teams out, and I know there's no mm -hmm. real way we're going to get an answer to this, but you guys comment below and let us know what you think. Um, I just wonder if Jeff could ever, like, blow up somebody's spot with that. Like, say, here's a reward for some stuff because we haven't <laughs> given you anything yet. And then have I think be like, if, what? If, I think if Jeff could, he would have, because that's how Jeff is. So. Right. I'd have to say that's a no, but oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, we know just a little shit stirrer. We're gonna get to that <laughs> during this, these friggin' challenges. Oh my god, someone's gonna punch Jeff in the face one day. Is all I'm saying. He's getting punched <laughs> during one of these challenges. I just, I'm waiting for it. Um, so yeah, I don't think there is any advantage or um, advantage to doing the right thing in Survivor or in any reality TV show. Nobody wants to take the likable person to the end. They just don't. And you need as many advantages as you can do to get there. And you need to be smart enough to let people know that's your strategy all along. You can't just be right. cutthroat and coming off like, oh, I'm an evil villain. It's, you got to let people know, like, I'm the evil villain, and that's why you want to be next to me at the end. Right. Because then it's a guaranteed win. Um, so, now, what did you think of our brains and, um, Jete? Is it Jete? Jetea. Jetea. Jetea, mm -hmm. our nuclear <laughs> engineer, who, I'm sorry, Spencer cracked me up at when his little side interview, when he was like, the fact that you're a nuclear engineer <laughs> scares, scares the me. ship. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> So, what did you think of her not being able to build a shelter in a way that we have not seen since All Stars a shelter fall apart so badly? Go ahead, Melissa. Oh, I don't even know. It was, 
It's mm -hmm. really sad to see that because she really, I think she really was trying. Um, and yeah, I didn't really kind of see anybody else stepping up to really help design the shelter and put it together. Uh, but yeah, you never want to be that bossy girl on the first day of your survivor she, experience. She didn't give anyone a chance. I mean, she, she's a ringleader right there. You know, I got to say, I'm a lot like her. I admit it. I am a lot like her. I would, I'm would. i kind of like a ringleader. I'm, I'm a dictator. I'm a teller. But I would know what I was talking about. I don't make any flaws. Oh, my God, this is horrible. <laughs> well, plus, we know. Look at the, en the intros on our edited show. That was a whole gap of a day. We could cut down just her bossy segments into mm -hmm. a tw and make her seem a lot worse than she was. I, I think, honestly, if she was that bossy nonstop the whole time... Oh my God! I don't know why she didn't go. I have a feeling that was a little bit of editing or whatever. I'm telling you right now, I like the girl. At this point, I like the girl. Even though we'll discuss something later, I still like the girl. Yeah. Well, I okay. Yeah. Let's <laughs> let's, let's let's jump right into immunity. And this mm -hmm. is where I say that Jeff's a big a-hole. I'm sorry. Because mm -hmm. our poor little brain tribe can just not get going in this first immunity challenge where they, where they have to put the car together and get it through the obstacle course and dismantle it. And then there's Jeff on the sideline like, brains are the worst. The brains are really <laughs> sucking. Boy, it would probably help if you had brains in this challenge or not. Uh, and he so does not, not help not one bit. I want to take the buff sometimes and cover his mouth. <laughs> That's what I'd like to do with the buff. Just saying. What do you think, Melissa? He's gotten worse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, from season one to now, like, he's gotten way worse. I I entertained by it, but I agree. Like, dude, come on. Like, maybe some encouragement? Maybe some I more encouragement. Like he used to do. It was like, dig deep, brave. Dig deep. The immunity challenge was definitely a team challenge, and it, it told a lot about their first challenge, about people's weaknesses and strengths. So, but the whole team as the brains, like I said, book smart, not common sense smart, as we could tell. No, I clearly uh, not. And and you, like Jeff, you have changed a lot. Just understand, great power, Jeff. Great responsibility, buddy. Be a little, mm -hmm. bit, be a little bit more, more nice to the people because I know that you're watching these and totally care about what we have to say. Um, so, not surprisingly, uh, brains were out because they couldn't do one thing on that obstacle course. Beauty mm -hmm. came in first; that did surprise me, and Brawn came in second. So, I thought that was, you know, pretty surprising. Uh, Beauty, so, what? Go ahead. No, I'm sorry because, like, I'm so excited to talk about this. Yeah, go. Melissa, Melissa and Eric, how is Garrett a brain? Because I find him to be a beauty and a brawn. Find him to be. Nah. Found him to be. <laughs> Not, a no. <gasps> Not a fan. Not a fan of Garrett. Now, I was a fan of Garrett. Um, well, here's what I think. I think from a production standpoint, um, they were doing brawn, brains, beauty. These are the tribes. Let's throw a little beauty into the brains and a little brawn into this to kind of like have a little bit of a mix up. I just think from a production standpoint, no group of people which are all the same and are not going to butt heads are going to be interesting for us to watch. So mm -hmm. they need to mix it up a little. But now... All I was thinking the whole time I was watching is, is Garrett gay or is he not? And then there was the one, you know, with his <laughs> hairless waxed body. Then there was the one scene where he's like posing like George Costanza in the field of, of flowers doing his interview. It's like, okay, you're gray, gray or gay. Um, but now Michael in the chat room is saying, Garrett said he's straight on Twitter. Okay. And then, you know, Buddy was in underwear. So do a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Well. So, no. No. Doo doo, gaydar, going off. Woo woo, five alarm fire. Not even a question. Garrett's gay. 
Don't okay. ruin it for me, Eric. Jesus. You know, that was my eye candy for last night's episode. That is who I was talking about in the beginning of our show. He had me, like, all the way through until, yeah, we'll get there. But, yeah, my heart was pounding. He he, he was my whole package. Speaking of whole package, did you look? Because John always tells us to look. That's why I looked, and it was super blurry. There was a lot of blurry package <laughs> last night. But I, I don't, I mean, he was kind of dumbish. I mean, it's almost like I they know. kind of forced they, us on him. Being they didn't make him, he wasn't dumb in the beginning, but then I saw how stupid he really is. I could maneuver yeah. him in like 2.2 seconds. But yeah. anyway, go on. Well, he didn't want, oh, so, so could I. Um, he, <laughs> he didn't want to do anything. Like that one um, uh, confessional where he was like, I like to do the manipulating part of Survivor, but I don't like to do the working part. I was like, shut up. Shut up, mm -hmm. go away. Go, what did off. you think, Melissa? Oh, I just don't like him. I didn't yeah. like him when I read the bios. I didn't like him when I wrote my blog post. I don't, I'm not a fan. And uh, it was funny because some, some people on my Twitter feed were like, I like the Dolphin Poet because she's the only one not going, ooh, Garrett, yummy. And I'm like, well, I don't like him. Uh, I just think he's pompous and he just, like, yeah, he did, I don't want to play the game. I don't, I don't want to go for food. I just want to, like, manip like, yeah, I, I'm over it. He yeah. is the, I need a man who could fix the car and mow the lawn, too. Well, I think he, I think he can, but uh, my problem with him is he's being very arrogant right now on Twitter for being, you know, um, second out-ish spoiler Ooh. um he's like oh uh, how how can i parlay vu my 15 seconds of fame into an infomercial he's like throwing digs at a lot of stuff that people do once they get out of a reality tv um experience and he's being self-deprecating but he's doing it in a very <coughs> it's, it's not coming off well garrett if you're watching it's not coming off well you could have spun this around into like I was having a bad day, something, but you're... You could have made it. me love you again, mm -hmm. just saying. Sorry. And then if you're going to pretend like you're straight, then get back to us when you're being honest. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I thought it was very very interesting with the Garrett. And now in losing, the brains are going back uh, to this tribe, and now we see this other dynamic where Garrett goes to my boyfriend, Spencer, and is kind of like, <laughs> let's make a alliance together, let's try and bring in Cass, and then the two girls, um, what is, uh, uh, what was her name? Oh, Tasha? It was Tasha, right? Mm -hmm. Tasha and, mm -hmm. how are we saying it? How did I say we're Shatia. 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 Right. I have to remember yeah. Shatia. Can I just Call her JJ. No, we have a J. No, we have an LJ. Um. So yeah. So them two were pulling for Cass, and um, Spencer and Garrett were pulling for Cass to kind of you know get with them to make this alliance. Now I don't understand why she would even consider going with the two girls. Because, you know, th their plan was to vote out David at this point, if I'm remembering correctly. But why do you want to align yourself with the two girls instead of the two guys? You're going to be number three anyway. You might as well be number three with people that might perform better in the challenge other than the two people. Or I, I don't even want to say uh, Tasha. We haven't seen her do anything. But all we've been seeing about uh, Jatia is her sleeping all day. So, I mean, what do you think, Melissa? Um, well, I kind of think that Garrett was going to the girls because he's worried that the boys will think he's a threat and he'll be the bottom, he'll be the third, he'll be the bottom. He, anyway, <laughs> he'll be the bottom of those three and he won't, you know, they're going to vote him out as soon as those girls are gone. So that kind of, that's an explanation for me. But the only, oh, well, I guess, yeah, I mean, that's true, because at this point, um, right, David is still... I mean, David wanted place. him out already once. Right. No, right? That's, a good, that's a good point. What do you think, Messi? I think Cass, is, is that her name? I hope yeah, I have that right. I, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Cass really wanted to be the leader and saw that David was the leader, so she went with follow the leader, 
-hmm. And she was just waiting to make her move in that game. She still doesn't like being, as we'll see later on in the show too, again, she wants to be in the lead. So getting rid of David was good for her. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Getting rid well, of David was good for her only because she wants to be the leader. But then she sees, again, she's not the leader. So Cass is a manipulative. She's, she's a strategic player. And she wants um, uh, everybody wants to advance their, advance themselves in Survivor, but she's definitely one to watch this season because she's she's got it. I think isn't she has it. She, isn't she a lawyer? Am I right on that, Melissa? Or District attorney, know? isn't she? Uh, oh, you know yeah. what? I cannot Wait. remember. I I, I'm pretty name. sure she's a lawyer or a district attorney, she, and yeah, that's why I. Yeah, she's an attorney. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's an attorney. Plenty. Yeah, that's yeah. why I do not trust her. I don't trust <laughs> lawyers at all. I don't like them, and I don't trust them. And there's she a reason she shouldn't be trusted. Jokes. She yep. really shouldn't be trusted. Mm -hmm. But yep. I don't like watching her. Yeah, she's boring. She's like vanilla. Yeah, vanilla. -ish. Again, we have another vanilla person. Yeah, we do. We got we we're up we're up to two we're up to two scoops of vanilla. Um, <laughs> okay. So that pushes us right into tribal, and like we see, David thinks he's controlling this whole game, Mister. I'm the executive. I he's very swarmy. I think swarmy is a good word to describe mm -hmm. uh, one David, and he thought he was pushing the votes towards um, Jatia, but no, nope. Didn't work out, and our little David went bye bye. So, were either of you surprised by that? I know a lot of people were saying the edit was so clear that David was going. I didn't think it was obvious at all. What did you guys think? I didn't think it was obvious. Yeah, I didn't think it was obvious either. I thought Jatia was going to go. I mean, if they were mm -hmm. smart, they'd have sent her home. But again, uh, you got to look uh, at the flip side. <laughs> smart was saving <laughs> David home. Yeah. Oh, so. Well, I see. I, a brilliant move by Garrett. Brilliant move by Garrett. He knew David was coming after him, so let me go after David right now. I can manipulate these people to get on my side to get rid of him. So, brilliant move. The first one, two, three days, Garrett's head was in this game. But then, kind of like after that, something switched off and his eyes went all like crazy. And then what he did, was like, I'm done. What did David mumble? As he was leaving, did he say "unbelievable" or yeah. something? He is that what he said? He said something when he, he said "unbelievable." Unbelievable! I could see the torment in his eyes when he said that. I was like, "Uh oh!" But see, it is unbelievable. He didn't see it coming, and that, as fans, that's the blind side. We love hashtag blind side. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hashtag blind side. Oh, hashtag. We should have talked about Spy Shack. With oh, that's God. Later. oh my. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Go ahead. What do you guys want to say about Spy Shack first? Go ahead, Melissa. Wah, wah. Like, yeah. Just stupid. fail. fail. Uh, I like Tony. I like him. I love his accent. I love he's a cop. I love that he lied that he's a cop. Oh, uh, he I should have come him. clean about that. I find he's him like, humorous. I'm a cop. He should have been like, yes, I'm a cop too. I didn't want to tell anybody, but since you're a cop and are going to figure it out because you're a cop, he should have told her right then. That's like, Helen asking Howard, did you lie to me? Are you in an alliance with those boys? No, 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 I'm not. No. He should have so, come are, out right Are you then. in reference to Big Brother there, Melissa? Uh -huh. I did reference Big Brother mm -hmm. right there. <laughs> And I mean, for for what I know of every single police officer in in my life, that you're like a family, you're a brotherhood, you're one unit. You don't like that is so against their whole mentality. Like you could murder somebody and be like, uh, be a cop, and the other <laughs> cop come up and just be like, oh, I murdered them, but I'm a cop, and then you'll be like, hey, let's cover it up. Uh, right. So you know, allegedly, like I don't know if that happened. Uh, so uh, I saying, like Tony. Very, I like Tony. Mm -hmm. I like him. I like him. Mm -hmm. And I think he, he should have come clean. Go ahead, Melissa. Tony is uh, Tony to me uh, is like Spencer to you. Just saying. Oh, Eric. Oh, no. Tony is a like Tony is if I wanted the you know older version I think of Spencer I like both spectrums I like the twenty year old hot I like the thirty year old hot I like them both they're both my type but I'm gonna go with Spencer 
because okay. he has more of a chance to be on our show. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, I thought it was I thought it was very interesting, and I didn't get the whole again spy shack. It's like, what are you put what? So every season out of spy shack, what am I missing? Because you put the things on the side. Couldn't anybody just walk around a shelter any other season? Did I miss the point of was it just to have a hashtag CBS? I think so. I definitely think so. Yeah, okay. I didn't get it. I didn't get it at all. So, I mean, we are then off to our second immunity challenge, um, which is basically drown yourself in the water. I don't like these challenges with the cages when you have to dive down for things. And I would be terrified that I would get trapped underwater. Uh, I don't like them. Do you guys, personally, do you feel that you would do bad in that sort of a challenge? I love the water, so yeah, I'd, I'd have enjoyed that challenge. It was so surprising to see the brains once again come out with a giant lead. I was thrilled to their lead in the beginning, and then the puzzle. You're the brains. But I loved it. I mean, production must have been like this, behind the scenes. Like, this is the best edit we're ever getting. These brains <laughs> people are so stupid. We're going to have the well, best season. Mm-hmm. It's not only that they're the brains, it's the fact that they had such the lead. And again, her job, her profession. You know, I'm a nuclear engineer. A nuclear engineer kind of scares me. Because why could you not put that puzzle together? I mean, mm-hmm. seriously. I don't yeah. know. I think she's lying about her profession. <laughs> <laughs> well, she loves nerds, as we all saw from the shirt. Um, is there is there anything like, that you want to say about uh, immunity, Melissa? Um, not really. I, I just can't believe they. I just can't yeah. believe the brains. Really, we have a visitor. We have a visitor. I'm sorry. We have a oh, visitor. Bar- oh, is that the barking visitor? <laughs> yeah, that's my barking visitor. Okay, there you go, buddy. My little barking Miss Parkinson. Okay. Oh, it looks okay. like Garrett. Um, okay. So. <laughs> Uh, right. So then, pretty much, uh, who came in first? Braun came in first this time. Beauty came in second, and of course, Brains last. So they are headed back to Tribal again. But then we see, and this is kind of like what Melissa and I were just talking about, um, all of the dynamics kind of change a little bit at camp now when Garrett says, you guys are not allowed to talk. We are getting rid of Jatia, and she is out of here, and nobody is allowed to talk. But Tasha is like, I, I want to play Survivor. This isn't fair. You're not letting me play Survivor. I can't plot or scheme. Just go plot and scheme, Tasha. Like, what am I missing here? Like, I don't get why she's like, this isn't Survivor. No, Survivor isn't announcing that you're going to plot and scheme. It's she just totally. She totally... She totally blew it, you know? I mean, she should have just been like, I'm done, conversation over, I'm going over here. Gentlemen, if you'd like to join me, you know, meet me over here. If not, talk to you all later, I'm out. You know, she blew her own cover there, though. You know, but again, this is a dumb opening for Survivor. Mm -hmm. (laughs) With with the whole tribal, so... Oh, yeah, I, you know, it's like, it's this is Survivor, you don't have to raise your hand to talk to the tribe or be excused to go to the bathroom. Like, you can go anytime you want. You can grab um, whoever you want, go behind a tree. If they want to follow you, let them follow you. Like, right. just do it. Don't let that man boss you around, girl. Come on. <laughs> and you know production is having no part of that. Production's like, that's not the way this stuff's going down. And he's no Boston Rob. You know, he's just he's going about this all wrong. I think in his mind he thought, oh, being like Boston Rob, I'm going to control the vote. I'm going to control who gets to talk to who. No, it's not the way it works, honey. It's not the way it works. Right. Um, so... You know, they all decided they were going to vote Jatia out. But then, apparently, maybe um, Tasha is maybe able to persuade Cass a little bit, so they go and walk away. Mm -hmm. Garrett and my boyfriend Spencer go after them, and they leave Jatia alone. Now, here's the thing. (laughs) They didn't see the Brandon Hand season when this filmed. So, mm, correct me if I'm wrong, Melissa, but Brandon Hans was the first person that ever dumped the rice, right? Or am I wrong there? I, 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 yes, I believe so. I don't think anybody's ever done that before. 
Right. So she hasn't seen that happen. This was being filmed when theirs was airing. But, like, is this the new standard now? So basically she dumps the rice. <laughs> Everybody leaves her alone in the camp after saying, no one's allowed to talk, there's no way you can save yourself, you're going home. They leave her alone and she dumps the rice. Uh, my mind is blown, and I have a feeling this is the new move on Survivor from now on, and I don't like it. I don't like it. You well, do not dump the rice. Mm -hmm. Do not <laughs> dump the rice. You what? dump the rice, your ASS should be out of there. Do not, do not dump the rice. <laughs> You're very adamant about this. Go I ahead, am. Melissa. Well, my friend, I have a friend who's wanted to be on Survivor since season one. He's been to casting calls. I've went with him to a couple. He said if he was being voted out, if he knew he was going right before they left, for, left to go to tribal, he would be like, oh, I forgot my bag. And he would go burn the camp down. So, like, pouring the rice out, like, for me, it's terrible. But I know what my friend's willing to do if he's getting voted out of that camp. He'll, he'll, right. burn, the, he'll burn the camp down. So yeah. it's, I just thought it was great, though. <laughs> it was so funny. I was just like, oh, I was in the middle of a tweet. Like, oh, what is she talking about? Like, well, no, she did not just do that. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. was I know. Crazy. I, 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 okay, sure. That was crazy. Here's what's more crazy. Let's segue to, A, how nobody really seemed to care. They all just came back to camp. And Cass <laughs> was like, oh, that's a shit. Oh, can you believe what she did? Then we get to tribal, and it's like the butt of a joke. Like, she, like J Jatia's like, oh, I jumped out the rice. Huh? I had a crazy moment. Oh, it's so crazy. Hey, nobody can eat anymore. So crazy. And everybody's okay with it. Everybody's just like, yeah, she jumped out. Yeah. Ugh. I'm frustrated with that. Very frustrated. I very frustrated. Who knows what happened behind the scenes, but it doesn't seem like they really gave it to her. And God, I'd have strangled her. I'd have put my hands around her throat and I'd have said, you're not eating for the rest of your life. Not just the next 39 days. 38, 30 days, whatever it was left, but no. Well, who, who does that? Who do, I'm still angry. She's crazy. That's who does it. A crazy person. And um, yeah, you, you wouldn't get very far if you put your hands around her neck because you're not allowed to do that. But you can burn down <laughs> shelters and eat all the rice you want. What do you think about it, Melissa? Uh, I, I don't really know. Like at this point, it, it's a crazy thing to do. But I mean, if you really think you're going and you want to give, you know, just stick it to him one more time, I, I being but on that island and driving to do her crazy life things, a living hell. Oh yeah. Time. I I don't I mean really what you voted her out after that. Mm -hmm. Well, well, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll get there in one second. But Darn it, Eric. We just my... didn't go to it. <laughs> okay, then, then let's go to it. She doesn't get voted out. She doesn't get voted out, and we see yet another blind side this uh, season to Garrett. Which, good, he should have went out, and I think maybe production was behind that a little bit, like, let's get rid of the person who's not letting any gameplay happen. <laughs> right. Um, but... Uh, I thought Jeff's whole um, acceptance of the burning of the rice in that tribal was very interesting and was like, you know, oh yeah, that is what happens and that's why you should blindside. That's why blindsides are good because no one sees them coming. They make for great TV too. But mm -hmm. now you should be careful because you could lose your rice if you don't blindside. And just, everybody just seemed so okay with it and and it made no sense to me why it was just completely accepted across the board. That's what irritate that's what irritated me the most, that it was accepted. So you said that perfectly, Eric. Yeah. I don't get it. It makes no sense. You guys comment below and let us know what you thought of the dumping of the rice happening yet again on a season of Survivor. So now I kinda wanna go to teams for a second. Who do we think? Who are we? Who are we picking to win? Um, let's let's go with that. Who do we say is going to win? Um, and I'm going to let Melissa or who's your pick to win. I will uh, start with you, and of course, 
like we said, Melissa is blogging this all season long. She reserves the right to change her mind all throughout. <laughs> Missy and I are only allowed to change one time halfway through. But, Melissa, right now, what are you saying? Because I think it'll be fun for people to watch along with your blogs and see how, you know, it goes for you. Uh, well, right now, I'm really thinking Wu on the Broad Tribe has a really, really strong chance of going very far. He's my pick to win. Um, he's just got a really cool, laid-back, you know, attitude from, from reading his bio. And even watching the show last night, we didn't see a whole lot of him. But, I mean, his tribe's winning right now, so we're not going to. Uh, I was just going to say, who? 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 Yeah. who? who? Who's that? Just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, I yeah, was going to be funny, pick. but I won't. <laughs> um, okay, so Wu, Wu is your pick. All right, Missy, who's yours? My first pick went. My first pick left. Oh God, that's your phone, not mine. It's my phone. God. My first pick left. Um, yeah, because I thought Garrett would actually go pretty far. I really did, but he played a horrible game the second half that we saw. So, you know, this is really tough. So right now, I'm going to go with a beauty, and I'm going to say LJ. Okay. I can see LJ. I mean, I think being on Morgan's radar right now that she feels betrayed by him and mm -hmm. that the gay is working with Morgan, the out gay, to um, mastermind, be the pimp, if you will, be the pimp of that situation. Um, I think that he is not going to go far in this game, but I respect your decision, Missy. Yes, but I love, you know what, that you just said this, I'm sorry, we didn't talk about him at all. I mean, there's well, obviously so many we haven't talked about, but I am in love, 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 love. I love Bryce. I think oh. he's funny. Well, we're going to, we're going to talk about the teams in one second. I uh -oh. want to see like what we think a little bit about each team. I thought we were going to end this and you know, we just weren't going to get into it. So. No, oh, we're getting in, we're getting in. We don't have a John Richardson today on a time limit. Um, So... I'm going to say my pick to win is Spencer because we I love know. him, because we I know. love him, but I also think he is very smart, very strategic. I think he knew when to be more aggressive, knew when to hold back, knew when to kind of make a play. I do unfortunately think he's not getting far in this game just due to the fact of what happened with Garrett, but mm -hmm. uh, fingers crossed, maybe I'm wrong. Please, production, want to keep a guy on that team and pull something out. Or, I you know, think he was. The whole, the whole team's going to dismantle. I really do. I think there might be one person left, and that's when we're going to have a. Uh, someone's going to go and, emer you know, one's going to go to a different tribe. I think that team is, is done for. Well, I have a feeling, I hope, because Spencer was good friends with Garrett, that he'll go walking and strolling by some place him and Garrett went together to think, and the, and cameraman, will, and the cameraman is going to do this five times. Like, look at him and go like that. And then he'll be like, oh, maybe I should look on the ground over here. Oh, Muni Isle, it's Garrett's idol. He must have found it. I have a feeling something like that might happen soon. You never hmm. know. I don't know. I really, people, I, honest to God, I know no mm -hmm. um, spoilers for this show. I know all of the Amazing Race ones, but I know none for this show. So really, don't <gasps> place any bets on me. Um, right. I only knew last season because Alyssa kind of uh, spoiled it a little bit. But... I don't want to know any spoilers. I don't know any for this show. That's what I just said. So Or Amazing Race. Or Amazing Race. Okay, fine. I will not tell you that the Twinnies win then. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, win at first being out. Let us talk about the Brains tribe then. Who are we liking from Brains that are left? Who are we not liking? And who is left now is Jatia, Tasha, Spencer, and Cass. We all know I love Spencer. I could take or leave Cass, and I think Jatia is a whole bunch of crazy, and I'm rooting for Tasha. I like her. So what are you thinking about Brains right now, Misty? Uh, Misty says, Tasha is okay. Um, Jatia, I like her. I do, but I'm, I'm mad that she's still there, and I don't think that she'll go far. Spencer, again, he's a little cutie pie, a, a good player. I'd have to agree with you on that. And... What is my Your dog, dog doesn't dog? agree. I know. He obviously doesn't agree. He's looking out the window. It's because he's Jared. And, uh, who's left? Garrett left and Spencer, Jatia, uh, Cass. I don't like her. I, I, She's not entertaining to me. But yeah. I think she's a smart player. So, 
Melissa, More. brains, what are your thoughts on brains? Uh, well, like I said before, I like Tasha. Um, I'm so, so on Spencer. I I haven't seen enough. I really haven't seen enough of anybody yet, like, right. you know, you know, gameplay-wise, but, um, I mean, just, he is fun to watch. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's going to make things more interesting if she sticks around for a while. Uh, but, yeah, that's, and then Cass, I'm kind of, I like her well enough, but, you know, she's, She's kind of already on the outs with everybody, so she probably won't make it very far, especially with the way they're performing. Right. So that's kind of how I feel. All right, so let's move over to Beauty, which I have to say, I have my little cheat sheet over here. I have no idea who this Alexis person is. Was she even <laughs> on this show? So there's Alexis Bryce Jeffra. I don't, mm-hmm. I, she was the blonde who was kind of like, oh, what am I doing? And then uh, Jeremiah and LJ. LJ, for those of you that watch our Bravo shows, I feel like is an older uh, Jax Taylor. I get a lot, he's giving me a lot of Jax Taylor, is what uh, LJ wow, is giving me. Wow, a Jax Taylor. No, Taylor. Hmm. And you don't watch Vanderpump Rules, yeah, Missy. Okay. I just, I, what? Do you watch uh, Vanderpump Rules? Are you blowing my mind right now? No. I didn't think so. I was like, oh my god, if you pull out that you watch Vanderpump Rules, Messy, oh my goodness. Okay, so from that tribe, none of them really impressed me. I'm glad that the gay for this season is saying he's there to play the game and not just be one of the girls. I I personally like that. Other than that, none of them, we didn't really see enough of them, but none of them really stood out to me. That's my overall view of um, beauty. Uh, go ahead, Melissa. I will let you do it first. Uh, well, you know, Bryce uh, on his bio said something about being like Colton, so I don't know what that means. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's really not somebody you want to emulate in the game of Survivor mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what he's thinking. Um, but yeah, they, nobody has really stood out to me yet. But like I said, like they're like the Braun Tribe. They're winning. Like they're not going to show a lot of stuff in that because. Right. They're not. There's no conflict there. It's it's all just hanging out right now, winning right. challenges. I can't what give it, you too much of an opinion on on them because we didn't see enough of them. I mean, right. we really didn't. So. Well, you can give the best kind of opinion, like ugly, gay, <laughs> stupid. Okay, Morgan, the give... NFL cheerleader, because I have that written. Uh, the first one looking for her idol. You know, she's cute. Of course, she's hooking up with LJ. She thinks that she's gonna use her her looks. I love Bryce. You know, that's someone we did see yesterday, and I I just love his demeanor, I guess you could say. You know how he just sits there and he sits back and he says, let me tell you, this, blah, 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 blah. I, that's what I like about him. I like Bryce, and that's about it. Miss Kentucky, Jetra, Jeffra, yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know enough yet. I really don't. I, I like Bryce's purple pants. I like that he went there all in purple. I approve of the color, Bryce, and I hope that you are going to do some plotting and scheming, and I have a feeling you will, and I'm not getting the Colton vibe. I'm not I'm not getting a Colton vibe from him yet, Mm-mm. but who knows what could happen. Okay, so then we have, lastly, our brawn tribe, which is Cliff, a guy that plays some sport, um, Lindsay, who I love, uh, Tony and Sarah, the cops, who I don't know if they're single or married, but I feel like they should get together, uh, Trish mm-hmm. and Wu. Uh, Wu, you're hot. Woo woo, as in woo hot tamale. <laughs> um, so yeah, I like Lindsay on this tribe. I know it was unpopular that she kind of started right off the bat with Trish about not working, but I like her. I like her um, uh, her braids. I like everything about her attitude. I like her. I might go straight for her. I don't know what it is about her. But I like her. I like You're me some Lindsay. You're so lying. No, You're I would. I like her. Straight for Lindsay. I would. I might. I might. Lindsay, come on the show. Okay. So, what do you think of Braun? Missy. You want me to go? Yeah. Go. Yeah. Okay. I like Cliff. I do. I like mm. Cliff. And I was watching a a a, a joke uh, a Survivor video earlier this morning that someone had made, and they said something about he's so tall. How's he going to go to the bathroom? I like Cliff. I think he's great. I think he's going to bring us entertainment value, and that's what I like about him. Sarah, the officer, um, again, she thinks she knows, but does she know? I have to see how she's going to play. Tony, we know how I feel about Tony. I like him. 
him mm -hmm. and his spy shack. I'm just saying, and I love his accent. I do. He's has to be. He's a New Yorker. Has to be he's right. Totally. Eric? Yeah. Totally. Totally. Lindsay, you're you, who you're gonna go straight for. Doubt it. Um, I don't like her hair. Um, not at all. I don't know how the hell she can wash that shit. Oh, I said it again. I said I wouldn't curse. Um, yeah, um, I don't like that type of hair. I gotta be honest, and I don't like that she's causing controversy. Controversy with Trish, who again I cannot stand, Miss Pilates woman, and I love the little thing they did to her mouth and just started talking like that. I mean, it was just I was like, are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. But no, I don't like either one of them. And woo, woo, hoo, and he's so quiet, and I think that's why Melissa could be correct. He could, he good, he could go very far. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Melissa. What do you think? Oh, oh, yeah. I yeah, I agree. The, the cops. I think you know when cops are on Survivor, they always just overcop it. Like you're 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 not an officer right now. You're playing Survivor. You've got to calm that down. You mm -hmm. don't want to come off authoritative and um. Oh, I can't think of the word I'm looking for, but you know, overbearing and like you know, right. you know, I pulled you over. You can't do that on Survivor. And like mm -hmm. I said, if a cop says, I think you're a cop, you t I am a cop, yes, you figured it out, let's line, let's do this. Right. Um, but yeah, and I really like Wu, and I like Lindsay too. Uh, I, I like the Braun tribe. I think they're going to work together really well, because I think their personalities just mesh wow. really well. Um, so I think they're going to keep winning these things for a while. Wow. Right. I definitely... I'm going to get the dog, I'll be right back. Okay, I I think that um, it, it's an instant bond when you're a police officer, and I don't know why mm -hmm. you wouldn't use that. Why I don't would either. You not use, that's like a guaranteed final two they could have made with each other. Oh, so exactly. Understand why they wouldn't go right for that bond. I don't um, either. All right, so here's a fun thing for that I think we should do for next week, and Melissa, you can... Um, maybe say it in or people can follow what happens in Melissa's blog and of course here next week when John does come back but um, Missy who do you think John will say uh, he wants to win oh god you know what John is a lot like me believe it or not mm -hmm. and I think that he you know he's going to say for comedic reasons he's going to say Jatia right <laughs> Oh, you know, he say will that. say that. And I think he might pick, I think he might pick Cliff. It's interesting. I was also thinking Cliff. But okay, so I'll, I'll give you Jatia and Cliff. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say... He's going to watch this. This is horrible. <laughs> uh, believe me, he does not watch any back. Uh, oh, okay. um, uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to say he's going to pick... Uh, hmm, LJ. I think LJ. He's that pick. was good. that was my first pick, and I was I, like, no, well, I'm gonna you, go with LJ. Well. This is bad. We both know John. That's the problem. Right. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. And I know John, too. So let me ask you this. On the CBS website, which picture is the highest on the page? That's probably a good way to go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, go ahead, Melissa. Who do you think he's going to pick? Oh, I have no idea. I, I kind of like Cliff and uh, LJ ideas. Uh, cause, you know, he's not going to pick Spencer, mm -hmm. especially if he sees that you like him. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, I really have no idea. <laughs> All right, all right. Well, we have to see. We will see what who John picks and who uh, John uh, goes with. Let Wait, me, but we know John's what? mom watches this. John's mom, I beg of you, as his alliance partner, which I know he'll be back next week, please do not tell him who we said because I really would like to know the result without him knowing. And then you can get a hold of Eric and let us know if who you picked because we'd like to know and don't tell him. Yeah, that's I true. That's that. that's a good point. That's a very good point. John's so John's mom, mom, we want to know who you think John will pick and don't tell him. And we'll let you know if you're, well, you'll see because you watch this and I love that about you. Yes. And so we, we have lots of updates for next week. Here's a little interesting tidbit from um, Michael again in the chat room who says, did you hear that later in the season it's being said online that they're going to be able to use the idol after the votes are read as a twist. I did not hear that. I know I am not like, a, oh, wow. Okay, Melissa did not hear it. Then I'm going to say, I was going to go right to <laughs> Melissa for this one. So no, Melissa, we did not hear that rumor. 
No, I don't. I, I, I try to stay away from spoilers. Like, you know, I don't want to know anything that's going to happen. So, like, mm -hmm. I just, I don't look up a lot of stuff. I don't, you know, I go to the CBS website very carefully. <laughs> um, so I, I had not heard that. It's interesting, so and I don't know if I like it, but it kind of takes the strategy of playing that idol out of it. It makes it a lot easier to use it. Yeah, but that would be one heck of a way to turn the game. <laughs> but never. They're never. They're never standard. There's standard and practices that go into this. You cannot be voted out of the game and then be allowed to come back because you had, like, no. I, I cannot. I'm going to go with rumor. I will only eat this much of the paper if I'm wrong, <laughs> as opposed to the entire amount I need to eat. If Trish wins this game, I think I'm good. So, <laughs> that being said, is there anything else that either of you want to touch upon about this week's Survivor episode, or should we start wrapping it up? Missy? Missy? You know, I just want to say, you know, I thought it was great. It was a great episode, you know. Take out of the comedic value that we brought to it today, it was really interesting, and I can't wait to see what happens throughout the season. And my dog today. Shut really up, Garrett. Garrett. Hold <laughs> on. Buddy, stop it. Oh, buddy. Oh, so, buddy. He's not being a buddy today. So I'll make this real quick. Um, I did see online this morning Trash Talk TV. Not to give them a shout-out or anything, but I am. I love them. No, I love they, them. They did an awesome video that I think that you guys should watch. So go on Twitter. I retweeted it, and it's really funny, and you guys should watch it. I'll put the link below. I'll put the link below on the edited version. Right. Okay. I'm going to get my dog. Go ahead, Melissa. Okay, go. Go, Melissa. Um... What were we talking about? What, was there <laughs> was was there any other um, was there anything else that you wanted to touch upon from this season of Survivor before we wrap it up? I just want to give some advice to anybody who wants to be on Survivor. Um, a, learn how to make fire. Like you have to know how to make fire. And B, that's the first thing you do when you get to camp. You don't build your shelter. You get fire going, so you have water to drink. And you have a warm thing, you know, you have a warm fire to come to, then you work on your shelter. I cannot believe, I can't even remember which tribe it was. But like, let's, we need to build a shelter. No, you need fire first. Every time. Mm -hmm. Always get that fire going. And, it, and then your second point is a tip for the people that want to be on Survivor is they should definitely be reading. My blog. Mm -hmm. Right, for tips, for tips. Because mm -hmm. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've seen <laughs> all the seasons, most of them twice, some of them three or four times. So I, I know I, I know what, I know how to coach you if you're going on Survivor. So, Melissa, I want to ask you real quick, because I, I don't know very much about you except for your blogs. Um, who is your favorite Survivor player? Of all time. <laughs> of all time? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I really love Kathy from Marquesas. I love her. She's so great. Uh, and Rupert, of course, is also a favorite. Um, and I just adore Todd Herzog. He is such a sweetheart, and I adore him. And if Danny Boatwright, i got to go with my Kansas girl. She's from Tonganoxie. That's really not far from where I live. I've met her. She's awesome. So I'd have to say with those, those are my favorite. I like the fun people who... Uh, and your, le your least favorite. Sorry, I'm interviewing you here. Your no. least favorite. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? I cannot stand Corinne. <laughs> I can't stand her. Ooh. Can't stand her. I, I mean, Go ahead. Maybe it's just me, but she's not my favorite. You're not getting down because you're going to go bark. Sorry about my dog today, guys. I do have three dogs, and I usually... I, usually they're good, but this one likes being in the window because he learned where the shade is, and he likes barking when the wind blows, and if I put him out back... He barks at the wind blowing. So he's in a barking mood today, so I deeply apologize. And next week, to the crate. I'm joking. Crate it. They, please. <laughs> Our mascot is a dog. Everyone loves Charlie, and then John gets jealous, so he has to bring his dog around. So it's only fair that you would bring your dog around, Missy. And next Melissa, week, I'm the... having treats right here, and I'll just keep feeding it to him to keep him quiet throughout the whole oh, So apologize, that... everybody. Sorry about that. Say bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. Well, go ahead, Missy. Tell the people where they can find you and um, all of that good stuff. 
you guys thanks for watching thanks for sending your questions i love hearing your comments uh it'll get easier for me as the season goes in so i can learn a little bit more about these survivor players uh you can find me on twitter at my 55 y and once again don't forget to donate to our kickstart love you guys thanks go ahead melissa all right uh yeah thanks for watching everybody no don't forget to read my survivor blogs i'm also talking about king of the nerds don't forget to read those too because they're really good uh you can find those at yourrealityrecaps.com and you can follow me on twitter at the dolphin poet yes indeedly do so again i will reiterate because third time is a charm melissa follow her blogs king of the nerd survivor the links are below on youtube um definitely donate to our kickstarter it's super duper helps us out the, all these survivor people are going to be there and we'll ask your questions no one else is giving you that you're going to get all the survivor people in one place and then missy like running them down to get your answers and it's all live people this isn't like an edited show it's gonna Missy's be gonna not be running live. anywhere they'll they'll pay extra just to see that eric go ahead pay extra okay. to see okay. that i'll be running <laughs> okay i hear i'll bring i will wrangle them to missy that's so much then, better <laughs> and then we will get it. We're talking three days of live streaming for all of you people. But like I say, all of the details are over at yourrealityrecaps.com slash kick. And of course, thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps support this YouTube channel. And follow uh, Melissa all season long. We will have you back again, Melissa. We'll, we'll have Melissa back a few times this season to check in, get her thoughts, and see what she's thinking as the season's progressing outside of her blog. So tune in for that all season of course missy is here all season john is here all season he just oh i have to work on the kickstarter today so you know whatever that's what he is doing uh but john and i will be back tomorrow night 5 45 p.m eastern with jr and your winner frank from opposite worlds are joining us for the entire recap tomorrow night friday and of course you can find out our entire schedule and see what all of our shows are over at yourrealityrecaps.com slash live show that is all for this week or for no today not this week show tomorrow <laughs> see you guys all later bye everybody. bye guys bye Hey everybody, Eric Herter here from YourRealityRecaps.com to answer, what's this channel all about? Um, uh, it's about, um, what is that about? <laughs> no, of course I know what this channel's about. We're all about the funny. We try and make all of our shows have some sort of a comedic twist to them. And we're always covering your favorite reality shows like Big Brother, Survivor, Amazing Race, and even your favorite Bravo shows. But make sure you check out YourRealityRecaps.com. I can't even say that way in my own website. I also do comedic video mashups of shows where I take everything that happened from the episode and mash it up into some ridiculous story that actually didn't really happen. I also host weekly group discussion panels where me, my friends, and reality stars all get together to discuss what's happened the previous week on your favorite reality show so you're all caught up heading into next week's show. Oh, and I have a dog who's like my best friend. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Don't don't stick your tongue out at them. They're over there. Like I give a sh What? Leave being a dick to me. Okay, don't mess up my makeup. Subscriber, I'm gonna kick my nose. Ooh, and I almost forgot. We do live shows right here on this YouTube channel, where the reality stars and our panel in our weekly group recaps take your questions and answer them, hey, live on air. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of those. And do us a favor, give us a thumbs up too, because it really helps support the show. Oh, and we tell it like it is. We do not hold any punches. Well, behind people's backs, anyway. Oh, of course she's coming back. She spent all the money, if you know what I'm talking about. But let me let you in on a little secret. Aside from our live shows, we're also live at special events like the Big Brother premiere party, the Survivor finale, and even the Amazing Race premiere and finales. We're bringing you guys exclusive content up close and personal with your favorite reality TV stars that you are not going to get anywhere else. So, hello, have you subscribed yet? Do it! Do it now! Apparently they want me to kick you. Have you subscribed yet? I'm gonna kick you. Have you? No? Yes? What? Do it. Now. Go. <laughs> And we get it, you might not have time to watch the full shows right now in YouTube. It's why we offer the audio-only or podcast version, as well as a video-only version available in iTunes or your favorite RSS player, so you can always take the shows with you to go. 
You're welcome. I'm not kicking any dogs. I might kick a baby though. Oh, and we do all of these shows for you fans. So make sure you interact with us on your favorite social media websites. We're on all of them. You can find us on them by simply going to yourrealityrecaps.com slash the name of the website you're looking for. So slash Pinterest, slash Tumblr, slash you get the point. And leave your questions, comments, and suggestions because you never know what's going to make a show. Of course, everything that we talk about in this video and all of our shows can be found over at yourrealityrecaps.com. It's the home base for everything that we do. So make sure you go check that out and click around it. Click, click. This is me clicking. Click, 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 click. So what are you guys going to do for me? You're going to subscribe to this channel and thumbs it up. And thumbs it up. Is thumbs it up a word? Look, I'm waiting. Go. Still haven't done it yet. Subscribe. If you're watching this, you couldn't have done it. So go subscribe. Subscribe now. And thumbs up. You can thumbs up without leaving the video, but you can subscribe. Or maybe you can. I don't know. I'm not really sure. You think I know these things, but I don't. Hey, go subscribe. Anybody got a baby? <laughs> all right. See you guys all in the next video. Bye for now.